EG versus OG. Best of three, of course, up in the winner's bracket. And Zai is looking for a bit of a wraparound here. They want to do something about Anna. In fact, Zai just comes waltzing straight past the tier one. TP is on its way in from Jarex. And now also from No Tail, they're going to look to try and turn this one around. Jarex. So the line, can he find it? Samael being forced back, they're gonna take it. Anna, one more touchdown onto Lone Drift, will find the kill. Jarex oversteps the mark, they miss his crit, but the rest of the side of OG are able to find Zai as well in the mid lane. OG reacting to EG's pressure in the mid lane and coming out on top with two clean kills. Must have, yeah, thrown his life away in that fight. Oh, so, man. he has got the resummon in the second. In fact, top lane, okay, RTZ jumps in. Quick purification from Zai. They'll beat down upon him. But Garrix and Anna are going to look to try and turn this. They'll get the stun onto Zai. No points in Repel at the moment. So Zai, he's only got a purification and the ability to run. The slow helping him out a little bit. The Astral's there to set up. There's no TPs at the moment coming out from the EG. So it looks like they'll just have to let him go. It broke down the laning stage in such a way that they were able to get a lot in power tour. Yeah, Jarex, perfect placement. Jumps in. Backup is on its way. Can Zai keep RTZ alive? He can with a purification. And RTZ wants to fight. Jumps in onto Jarex oh. for the new The purified flames from Fly takes down Artor. Jarex still healing up. He's going to look for the Dukes. He needs the Duke of his life. But he's going to roll. Oh, but the kick to the backside from Universe brings down the Rocky Man. He's fine. Oh, maybe not. He is not fine. <laughs> okay, never mind. Eric can't follow them. Perfect the timing from S4 with that Fisher. He only just came in. Zai is going to repel RTZ, trying to let him go in and go in the ham. S4 falling low. The drums will be popped by Anna. RTZ is going to continue to jump across. They move back. RTZ now caught out by the nukes. Oh. The old drop by Anna. He takes down another. Zai has got the backup of Universe. But again, it's a nicely coordinated fight from OG. We could see another pretty heavy clash in this in this mid lane by the tier one of OG. We'll see how EG want to move in. The illusion's already coming through. Dagger as well. Let's see what OG's response into the roar. Coming out with the save from Fly is there. S4 drops out the ult. And no, sorry, Jarex's ult comes through. The Fisher from S4 is what holds EG back. And EG, they can't get the kill. Anna's healed back up to full by Fly's play on the Oracle. And EG are left still hanging around, still looking for an opening. They try for a courier, not quite got the damage to deal with it. Looking for Jarex, oh, it's easy. Is he going to jump in on this one? But then there will be a point where there's Radiance, double Midas against one Radiance. Well, top lane, and again, he jumped on, he can't live through that. It looks like it's going to pay off. And I think it's mainly just because of the Naga and Jarex. Right, out here, and S4 comes in with the slam, crit falling low. They will find the IO kill, but it ends up feeding a second to RTZ. That is, yeah, the mistakes, as we said, you know, at the start of the series, teams coming together on lands and and that is a painful one and eg very nicely punishing it probably fine uh, for eg at the end of the day because he doesn't yeah. have his farming and look at I this he's got his radiance we're on to anna rtz comes in he's gonna look for involvement on another kill there'll be an astral to buy some time for the od of fisher coming out they'll actually get the kill on to crit anna turns oh. around he pops the ages anna's gonna be able to walk this one off and actually lives through it all Jerex was able to play with Universe on the back lines of this. RTZ still hanging around, comes back in, but No Tail pops the illusions out. They play around it, Anna puts No Tail in the Astral. They the punish RTZ's hunger, and they're not quite done. Samael walking around on negative HP. He's gone as well. Easiest triple kill of Anna's life. As EG just throwing heroes at the OD, and Anna just eats them up. As the crits were too much from RTZ, taking down flight, and it's coming. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh All right. Man. Easy kills for Anna. Simply pops the hole onto two in bottom lane. Samael, he could be in trouble. OG's chasing him down. Oh, no, I couldn't quite get the net off there, but the force forwards. He's going to find it. They're closing in onto Samael. Fish is there. They surround the big old bear. He continues to try and run and hide. The armor's not enough. And Anna makes himself present for another kill. Oh my goodness. I mean, they have song. They can pretty much do whatever. Oh, Jerax, Jerax, Jerax jumps in onto two. The silence, the stun. S4 with the slam. Onto Samael. Samael, he's going to go down. Zai, can he actually play his way out? This, he's got the repel, but it's not going to save him against the punches. Jerax comes through again. Anna is godlike. Jerax with the absolutely fantastic setup. Oh, geez, you're seeing if any of uh, EGR hanging around in that camp. TP back's going to be there. Zai trying to get out, but S4 with the Fisher. RTZ jumps in and is able to take down Fly in the back lines. But Zai, he's going to go down. RTZ, can he get his way out of this one? He jumps across to No Tail. He's looking for the Dukes, but S4 there with the Enchant Totem. They've got the control. RTZ pops the BKB. He's still on the retreat. He's going to go for the TP out. Can he make it? No! Oh, oh. S4 with the Totem was... to the backside. Getting very far ahead, and EG 
Let's see if they got any final answers here as OG up to the high ground. So Mel will buy back. And I guess, yeah, he does have the berry summon, so he's got it out. Oh, Anna! Oh, <laughs> All right, he goes in. He That's takes down Zion, he goes back out. Alright, alright, alright. What can they do here? Lincoln's is pop. Across the Shiva's guard, RTZ jumping in. The roof's there, but the song oh, again no. from No Tail, allowing OG to song, reset though. the fight. 20 seconds until RTZ's back, so maybe they can hold on long enough. And okay, jumping in. The Savage Roll's there to force them back, but Anna just punches in to crit. The IO's down. Bishop. To Zai, Anna coming back in again. Jarrett oh with the boulder God. smash, controlling the OD, allowing Anna to punch into him. And they're not done yet. Jarrett moving in for more looks for University Forces away. Samael and Universe caught out by the stun. Anna comes across. Universe is out. Samael as well. And GG is called. My goodness. Effectively, just a beat down from OG as the game progressed as EG really couldn't regain their footing. The draft wasn't quite enough to hold up to the strengths that OG were getting to in the mid game. Mm, I wouldn't actually... Mirana. Okay, Mirana. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at the lineup. So over on the side of OG, Anna at the moment. Yeah, looks like he will actually be uh, taking himself towards that top lane. And uh, actually, Arteezy still in a bit of trouble. The Again, these arrows from no -tail. He's missed a couple. Doesn't look like it's going to matter. He's coming back up and crit. Giving a bit, a bit of a boost here. Arteezy's going to come in and S4. He He's got so no hard. escape here. One more touch will do it, but the Tauron holding him back. Jerax with the plays. Oh. Arteezy's going to go down for the second time this game. Yeah, the, the way that they're rotating around the map, it's it's kind of what we were saying. They are the ones who need to make moves, and S4 are looking to make a move of his own. And just the tip. It's enough to catch Arteezy. Arteezy trying to turn, but the X mark. Oh, the Tauron's going to be there. They actually lose S4, and in fact, with the Enrage, Arteezy. He's able to turn it around onto one. He wants to find Jerax as well. The Moonlight's going to be there. Do they have detection? They do. A sentry is dropped down. Jerax to be taken as well. Fly turning up, looking for some kind of kill in return, but he has to be careful. Moonlight, in fact, it's going to run out in a second or two. No tail, frozen arrow back, but it's going to be duped out. And, uh, oh, actually, mid lane. Let's watch that. Samel's just jumped in onto Jerax. Fly turns around with a bit of a hold. S4 coming in with a bow strike into the arrow. Samel has got the Aegis. So we'll be back for round two. The question is to know do you do anything about him? They don't have Anna. Anna continues to put the pressure down on the bottom lane. Universe coming across. Arteezy's there as well. Take down Jerax. We're, I mean, Jerax is there in range with a torrent. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, turned up as well. Jumping in onto Arteezy. He'll pop oh, the no. range, though. And No Tail didn't quite have the follow through lockdown. And now Universe with the call onto No Tail. EG turning up in style as Samael's relocated in by crit. And there's going to be the chance for this kind of turnaround. They've got to be careful yeah, of that. Anna. What a buy a call the dog oh. perfect from universe. So he needs to be able to get in at pretty much any point, and they are not going to expect this. I mean, if he gets a call and RTG is there to follow through, the damage is going to be there every time. It'd be more fair to say that No Tail's not really having the same Oh, No Tail! Nice. As you mentioned, he gets the stun. Crit coming across. Has got the relocate. He's actually not using it for the time being. Wants to keep some mail around because they want to fight this. Jumps in onto Anna. Anna gets himself out to the illusion. Oh, No Tail. A bit of an awkward leap here. I mean, now he's he's got Crit and Arteezy to deal with. No tell. With no leap out. He's gone. He knows he's okay. But incredibly ballsy play. But he's doing what he needs to. Giving space for some mail. Tier 3. Falling very, very quick. Very fast. He has Aegis. Can't do anything big with this. The epicenter on the back lines. S4. He caught two. S4 takes down two immediately. Some now. He needs help. Universe is going to come in. There'll be a buyback from Crit. Can they recover this EG? Coming through again. S4 with the burrow strike. The Moonlight Shadows a buyback from Fly. GG is going to be called. EG have done it. They managed to bring the series to a game three. Here we it's go. Good off lane mag. Yep. The proper fights when you always have to worry about power and such. Maybe getting a little greedy here. He came back out on low health to get that ward down. The block from Jerax and Crit. He's gone. Nice. That's first blood. Put on the silence. I'll turn around, give up a few bunches back to Jerax. Just roll across from Crit. That's the dust. They'll look now to chase down Jerax on the Rick. He's going to try for the TP out. Oh. He won't make it, though. As EG are able to bring him down, and RTZ gets the final touch onto him. So money into the pocket of the Morphling. That was so close. Mid lane. Anna and Fly. Trying to look for a gone to mail. He's yet to skill the timber chain. He has got two He's points in I that think. aura. 
four stacks of the poison though indeed that's going to be a hell of a punch yeah, he make that dead. five you know no tail getting some levels oh he's he's looking for the root he, he wants this here. omni he's found crit crit's gonna go for the roll away but in fact yeah they get the slashes off one on to die two on to crit now with the blade fury to follow through at the same time samel he's trying to bring jarex down low no tail he could be the first to fall he's incredibly low drops the healing ward out trying to walk down with a dunk it's there from universe they find the kill onto No Tail. Zai tethering onto Universe. He's continued to chase, and Universe looking to continue the caliber of gameplay he was able to show us in game two. Bly's gonna fall. Jax looking to pick off Zai. Sunstrike from Anna is there. Universe hasn't got the call, but Crit, can he do it? Yes, he can. The dunk from Universe to finish it off, and Universe picks himself up another in that engagement. Crit. Is he gonna try something in? Vikeby spot flies, just walks up to him. Crit. Oh no! He's been caught out and instantly the D-Ward happens. He just kind of hangs around a little bit too long there next to the Ancients and Fly's allowed to a free walk in and a free setup. Flies onto Anna, it would be a nice pick. He's got a couple of Forge Spears around him. That will help for the procs. Universe straight in. They've got him. Everyone on the side of EG coming through to finish it off and they want to look for more. Samel comes across. They'll take down Fly. And they do want to try and do something. S4 has the RP again. See what they can do. Eyes onto Sameo. Does he want to blow the RP for this? Yes, oh, he nice. does. Everything being thrown out onto the tip. He can't deny himself. Actually tries to go for the escape, so they do get the kill. Doesn't end up denying himself, but EG, they want to fight back into this one. Smoke. Got Fly. And Jarex making it hard for EG to chase. They're still looking for Fly. Should be able to get the Shadow Demon. They haven't been winning the engagements. So maybe they just hold him apart. Oh, Universe! He's got the claw! Oh, the S4 with the RP and the Omni to follow through, but the heals is going to keep EG alive, and in fact, they're going to be the ones to look to take the fight. They managed to find S4. It was a pretty RP. It wasn't quite enough to straight up win them the fight at the start. Now, Universe coming in with the call on to fly. No tails falling as well on the side of it all. Three kills for EG. Oh, OG smoking up if they can get to this Roche. It's still. It's going to take a bit of time for you to do it. Where's the opening? Watch S4. Watch S4. There's two in there. There's the RP. Is the supposed to be Zai. He's forced out. He's going to live. The Omni coming through. It's actually just bouncing around Roshan. They've lost S4. They're going to find the kill, but Jug's able to deny... Oh, he's actually denied it himself. I guess he didn't have a slot for it. But OG now. They've lost one. Are they going to lose anything else? Universe trying to chase. Gets himself forced in. Gets the call onto No-Tail. No-Tail's down as well. EG, they've found three. Oh, the They're looking for more as well. Anna caught out. Bursted down by... RTZ. It's four dead on OG. The last remaining survivor being Jarax. But he himself, can he get out? He goes for the TP. They will manage to escape. A set of racks on this bottom lane. Can they do anything about it? S4 20 seconds until the RP. Samel is going to start trying to play with S4. Now, in fact, S4 hasn't got the skewer. S4! He's going to go down! He's out! And now with the call cool onto No-Tail. There's your buyback from S4. Tricks the trade from Jarax. They're managing to push them back. And in fact, EG unable at the moment to finish off the racks that OG are holding. Magnetize is going to be annoying for S4. He wants to try and look for the beacon. Maybe oh, this is Anna. it though. But no. No buyback. Anna is out for the count. They're smoking up. They've got an Omni. They've oh, got an RP. S4 needs something huge here. He goes in, but he only catches Zai. It's not the RP that he needed. This buyback's coming out, but S4's down and out. They've lost Jerax. They're potentially going to lose No Tail. He comes out with the Omni Sash. He will kill Zai. Right, bringing these guys low as well. RTZ tries to go for the mute, but no tail in time with the blade fury backs off. They're facing them down. Samael looking at no tail. Anna playing around with him. Now managing to keep EG off these racks, but it's incredibly costly. Finally, the range racks go down. Universe jumps in. The calls there on to fly. The adaptive strike from RTZ brings him down once more. And the racks will fall. Anna looking at Samael. Tells there as well. Cold snap. Holding the timber chain. Some males down. He's actually going to suicide here. Jarex chasing for more. So they've lost their axe. But OG desperate to try and make EG pay for this one. I know that there's a Yules. It's a hard trap. Now he'll put the smoke. They jump in. The sun strikes there as well. But Zai's there with a the backup. The mini relocate to the side. Keeping some male alive. And now the turnaround universe. Tries to jump in with the initiation. Just the call up onto No Tail. S4 shoving himself back. Has an RP. But the battle hunger is going to make it very hard for him to re initiate. No Tail caught out. The dunk's there. Universe godlike. They've taken down No Tail. He has no buyback. S4. He needs a miraculous RP. But he just can't seem to find the opening for it. Maybe now. But oh, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead, and S4, he just has to get himself out. 
And that itself might not be possible. Skewer and Blink still on cooldown. They've caught out the Magnus. EG, they'll find themselves the team wipe. And GG's I want to say that Yuna versus Axe has pretty much been the same. Yeah, they're going to tap out. It, it makes sense. I mean, they were ridiculously far behind at this point. 